Okay, so let's learn a little bit about oil pastels today. So oil pastels are great because they will give you the look of paint without quite as much mess and with um, more control. So they look like crayons, you can hold them like crayons and you can control them just like crayons. So these are my oil pastels here. Um, I do wanna point out the paper that I'm using. So paper is kind of important when you're working with oil pastels. I'm using a mixed media paper, so something that is made for, for paints, for oil pastels, for watercolor, for just about anything. So that's a great paper to use. Um, paper from a computer or some of your more thinner drawing papers might not work as well with oil pastel. So just something to think about. They actually make pastel paper that has a texture to it um, that works really, really well. Otherwise, just a heavier weight paper, something maybe made for painting or mixed media. Okay, so the first thing I wanna mention here is pressure. So when you are working with oil pastels, the more pressure you apply, the more vibrant your color is going to be, and the less pressure, the more like a crayon it's going to look. So both are something to consider. You might want this more textured look depending on what it is that you're creating, or you might want something a little bit more vibrant depending on what you're creating. So we can also, if I peel paper off of my oil pastels, I can use the side here. Now, I like that these have the paper on it because you'll notice that oil pastels are a little bit sticky and so keeping the paper on is beneficial for that. So something to think about, peeling the paper off and using the side of your oil pastel to block in large areas of color like skies or grass. So the other really, really great thing about oil pastels is you're able to blend them. So you do want to consider the color wheel when you are blending colors. So stick to colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. Otherwise, if you start going across the color wheel, for example, red and green are complementary colors, the color that you get you often come up with like kind of like a brownish color, which maybe that's what you're going for. Otherwise, if you're looking for um, some great colors to, to blend, stick to the colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So something like this. So one way to think about this is using warm colors or cool colors to mix. So here are my warm colors, my reds, oranges, and yellows, and those colors mix really well together or blend really well together. And the same thing with um, cool colors. So cool colors are your blues, greens, and purples. So if you're starting to notice that maybe your artwork is smearing as you're working, you can, use a piece of scrap paper under your hand to prevent smudging and smearing. The last thing I wanna show you is that you can add layers of color. So if I wanted to, I could, let's say I wanna start with blue and I wanna lighten that blue. I can go ahead and add a layer of white. Okay, and that's going to give me a lighter blue, kind of like a baby blue. I can also darken a color. So the other thing is that if you are doing something like that, your white or your lighter colors might start to pick up some of your darker colors and you can just use a tissue to kind of wipe them off and keep them clean. Thank you. 